What is up YouTube, Trifecta Sports back with another video. Today I'm doing a TTM recap and if you see uh, the Christmas stockings here, um, you, th you think we probably just leave these up year round because this video probably won't come out until February so or late January. And I'm actually recording it before Christmas and these are um, uh, TTMs that I've gotten back. I'm going to do five of these and the next video of next week is probably going to be about uh, four, but three of them are actually um, email requests. So um, we'll actually have four next week and five this week. So uh, let's get started. Um, let's do the first one. The one of one took only eight days from Santa Ana, California. Pretty quick, considering it goes pretty much across the country. And it's no other than... It's on an 88 Donners rated rookie shortstop for the New York Mets, Kevin Elster. So you see right there, signed nicely in blue Sharpie. Actually had to give him a $2 donation. Some people, like Tyler got it before and he got it for free. And then when I looked on Sports Cards Forum, it says to give him $2 for a donation. So I did. And I got my first ever rated rookie 88 Donners card signed. So pretty nice to get that one back. Uh, next one. Is a one of one nine days from Fort Myers, Florida. It's on a 88 Donruss as well. Pitcher, former pitcher of the Cincinnati Reds, Ted Power. So you can see right there, signed nicely in blue Sharpie. Great signature. Glad to get this one back. Took only nine days, so can't beat that. Uh, next one is a one of one, also nine days from Phoenix, Arizona. And it's no other than former pitcher for the Baltimore Orioles, Eric Bell. As you can see right there, signed nicely in black Sharpie. Um, not a big fan of black, you may know, but I'll take what I can get. Add to the 88 Donners collection. So Eric Bell, thank you so much. Okay, uh, next one is a one of one. Took nine days from Metroplex, Michigan. And it's no other than a uh, former infielder for the Chicago Cubs, Paul no Noyce. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Uh, not signed it in black Sharpie. I guess it makes sense considering this is blue and this is black. Uh, well, blue and blue probably won't look good, so he signed it in black. So I'm very happy to get this one back in return. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate it. And last but not least is... Uh, I'm starting to um, do uh, 2017 Bowman draft cards. I'm trying to complete the set. It's going to be very hard to do considering it's been a year. Now they're at 2018. But I can still get some of the guys through the mail. And one of the guys I've gotten is from, this is a two of one. Uh, took only eight days from Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's my very first uh, Bowman draft card I got back. And a little story behind this. Um, this is what it was like. He opened, he put an index card, and he had an empty top loader, and you had two cards on the side. So he didn't put both cards in the top loader, but he put the cards, and uh, this is what he sent me. This is my card that I sent to him, which is the 2017 Bowman Draft card. 2017 Bowman Draft, yep. Base, signed nice and blue Sharpie. It's no other than, as you see, Ryan Vlad. And he also sent me a, he sent this to me, I didn't send this to him, a perfect game card. He also signed it in blue Sharpie as well. Very happy to get this back. It's made my day. And considering it's Christmas, he sent me a index card that said Isaac. He misspelled my name, but that's okay. People spell it I-S-S-A-C and I-S-A-A-C, but it's okay. He spelled my name wrong, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it says enclosed is an extra card for your for you. Merry Christmas, Ryan Vlad. So you can see right there, signed it. Put a signature here and he wrote me a little letter. So thanks a lot, man. I, like I, I told him, I was like, I hope he makes it far because I actually watched him play in Asheville because he is with the Asheville Tourist. So very happy to get those cards. Thank you so much. And that's going to be it. And, um, Hope you enjoyed. If you did, press the like button. 
Um, if you like stuff like this, click that subscribe button and follow Trifecta Sports. And um, probably here soon after, by the time this video comes out, we'll be going to hopefully Chop Fest in uh, 2019 in Atlanta, Georgia. And we're trying to get, hopefully we get the uh, autograph sessions. We're going to try to get all of them and pretty much try to meet everybody we can possibly meet such as all of the players with the uh, Braves and even some potentially, hopefully, some Hall of Famers like Phil Necro, um, maybe Tom Glavin, Chipper Jones, who knows. But hopefully we uh, have the chance to meet them. So stay tuned. Chop Fest probably coming your way regardless if we get the autograph sessions or not. We'll have a good time at Chop Fest and we'll record it and hope you all enjoy. Press the like button and we'll see you all later. Peace out.